Hi, I'm Ricardo Smart, and today we're going to talk about networking. But before we continue, let's define what networking is. Networking is when two people connect due to a general interest, and the conversation turns into a professional relationship where they still continue to talk about their general interest. Now, general interest can range from academics to entrepreneurial, music, professional development, or even sports. Any given topic that brings two people together to execute a certain plan. Now, when your network needs to start with a conversation, in today's life, you can connect with someone on social media, such as LinkedIn. You have the privilege to look at their career profile, um, what they do, where they have been worked previously, and what their interests are. So by knowing that, you, you can align their interest with yours, and then you can take the first step by sending that person an inbox and tell them about your, your interest and your future plans and why you want to connect with that particular person. You can do the same thing via email if you do have the contact details or otherwise you can meet them in person. The thing about when you meet someone in person is after your conversation you need to make sure that you either score their business card or that you have their contact details so that you can, can connect with them after you have engaged in a conversation with them. Now, when you are in a conversation with someone, make sure that you are present, right? Make sure that you make eye contact, that you listen to what the person has to say, and also respond to what the person has to say. You can advise here and there, and then what I love is when people talk about their personal experiences, about the topic of discussion. So after you have connected with someone, with someone and you were able to um, obtain their business card, you need to send them a thank you email to thank them for the time that they, that they had a discussion with you. You can share that you have found a particular topic interesting and then you would like to take um, a particular conversation further. Now, a successful networking has a certain output. It can either be a great friendship, it can be a community project, it can be a job offer or a travel opportunity. Make sure when you talk to someone that you know what your vision is and where you want, you, your, what is your direction in terms of your goals and where you see yourself especially over five years. I think that is a very important question that you need to ask yourself regularly. One thing that you need to do to maintain a professional relationship is to use um, email as your mode of communication. You can send them electronic invitations if you wish to meet with them. You can meet them on online platforms. You have the Zoom, you have Google, you have Skype, you have these various platforms that you can use. Um, or you can meet in person. Make sure if you suggest a coffee session that you actually do have the finance to do so, to go either for coffee or for lunch. Um, just don't ask the other person to pay for your meals, but you request for the meeting. So let's take everything into perspective. Number one, be yourself and be present when you engage in a conversation with the person that you wish to connect with. You need to send an email, a thank you email to the person after you have engaged with them. And just to remind them that you are God is smart and we have talked about this and this at this particular event and I would like to connect with you with regards to a community project such as the following. Keep the relations of professional by having emails as the mode of communication. That is what we're going to talk about in this session. Thank you.